Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Aquí temprano para agarrar el primer asiento. <risa> Me parece muy bien. <risa> no voy a hacer que se llene mucho. Sí, no voy a hacer que me dejen sin espacio. <risa> ya casi. Hoy empecemos está. la cuarta sección, ¿verdad? Yes. Ay, gracias a Dios. Vamos avanzando. Vamos avanzando. Sí. ¿Cómo ha sentido la clase? Muy interesante. Y me, me gusta cómo, me, cómo la da porque no deja espacio para una duda. O sea, si tenemos dudas, al menos yo después veo el video y digo, ah, o sea, lo vuelvo a ver para reafirmar lo que he visto. Pero sí me gusta mucho su metodología. Ok, thanks. Sí, sí. lo importante es que no se queden con dudas. Eso, Bien, eso sí. Sí, uh -huh. sí y... Se supone que a estas alturas nosotros ya deberíamos de estar hablando, ¿verdad? Y comprendiendo muchas cosas. Y, pero como hemos tenido unos profesores que no nos han colaborado mucho, entonces hay temas que uno anda perdido. ¿verdad? Sí, pero es bueno. que yo a pesar de que sí es un curso ya avanzadito, pero es necesario uh -huh. a veces explicar la gramática también a veces en español. Fíjese que hay compañeros que me escriben. Y me dice, sí. mire, fíjese que me quedé con esta duda. Yo le explico, le digo, ¿quiere que le explique en inglés o en español, verdad? Y ya entro sí. ahí, se me dice en español, les explico en español y ya ellos hacen ejercicios y ya les queda claro. Entonces ya sí. haciendo ejercicios así, ya uh -huh. se defienden y ya hacen otros. No, y viera cómo me ha servido porque yo tengo mi propio negocio en línea. Uh -huh. Entonces, fíjese que ahí, por ejemplo, yo aquel día le decía que yo hablaba con unos coreanos, ellos no hablan español. Entonces, eh, me ha servido mucho, por ejemplo, para, para pedir las cosas que yo necesito en los colores adecuados. Y entonces, y las cantidades, porque a veces uno por hacer un pedido comete el error de decir, eh, un, por, un porcentaje y no es porcentaje, sino a veces por docenas y cosas así entonces mira, a mí me ha servido mucho el inglés me ha servido muchísimo porque antes estaba puro Google y ahora comprendo un poco más sí. para, para siempre para mi negocio para mi, mis cosas pues uh -huh. es muy necesario es que es muy importante y eso abre tantas puertas Exacto. Sí. Es que, o sea, nunca sí. se arrepiente uno de haber aprendido el idioma, es lindo. Ay, mira, a mí como me encanta estudiar, teacher, y, y yo le digo, no importa que uno ya esté viejo, pero siempre se aprende algo nuevo todos los días. Sí, esa es la actitud, eso es lo importante, siempre aprendemos sí. algo nuevo, o por más sí. difícil que esté, pues siempre se, hay que buscar lo positivo y siempre aprende algo. Ay. Sí, gracias a Dios que, que nos han dado la oportunidad pues de, de poder estudiarlo y aprovecharlo y sacarle la mayor parte de provecho. Sí, esto es lo más importante, no darse por vencido, continuar, aprovechar la oportunidad como usted dice, ¿verdad? Continuar sí. y pues. Y que me, ver, hay, pues... Fíjese que hay, yo me he dado cuenta porque ya casi ya tengo año, un año de estar con con Isafor estudiando el inglés y este nos hemos dado cuenta que a veces hay alumnos que son bien negativos yo les digo pero es que uno no debe de quedarse con solo lo que da el teacher uno tiene que también investigar y ser autodidacta porque si uno no pone de su parte pues entonces no vas a aprender una sí. hora no es suficiente y yo les digo uh -huh. yo veo el video una y otra y otra vez a modo de que que me quede claro aquello y comprenderlo eso es bueno eso sí. es porque acuérdese que el que el que más insiste es el que, el que aprende más, ¿verdad? Sí, porque cabal. si yo me quedo con la duda, entonces ahí después no, no, no aprende muy bien, pues se va a estar con la duda todo el tiempo y no es así, es arrancar sí, la, duda, la duda de raíz y así pues se aprende mejor y siempre continuar o buscar sí. más información si no le quedó muy claro. Hacer oraciones, sí, armar oraciones, practicar aunque sea uno solito, uh -huh. viera cómo se aprende, aunque sea solito. ¿Verdad? Sí, es cierto. Sí. Gracias, Tito. Es, es, es importante. <risa> sí. Ok. Ya casi. Dos minutos nos faltan. Que me gusta arrancar en punto sí, porque minutos. así se conectan, se conecta la mayoría. Sí. Sí, es cierto. Y se le oyen los periquitos al fondo. Allá afuera, eh, fíjese. 
Ah, ya voy a cerrar esta ventana. Es que así se oye menos el ruido. Son allá afuera de mi casa, es ¿eh? los vecinos. Así lo van a escuchar menos. <ríe> Yo pero no, cierro... pero es bonito. <ríe> cierro todo para es que bonito, no se escuchen el... interferencias. Los pericos. <ríe> sí. <ríe> no, pero no tengo mascotas. I don't have any pet. <ríe> ok. I have six dough. Six. Um, six dough. And 13 turtles. Oh, turtle too. Ok. Yes. <laughs> But my time, my time is enough. Is enough to, okay. to, to take care of pets, any pets. Ok. Ok. Almost, it's almost the time. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine too. How was your long weekend? I very nice because I went to the church. I went to the mall with my best friend and my sister yesterday. She was in birthday and I ate a lot of cakes. Only that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> yes. Okay, excellent. Roberto Carlos, how are you, Roberto? Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I'm fine. Thank how you. How was your weekend? Uh, very nice. I travel um, in Mexico, to Chiapas. Oh. I visit, I visit the, um, the Las Nubes in Chiapas. It's Las very, nubes. very beautiful. It's yeah. a, a kind of restaurant or what? Eh, no sé cómo se dice lagos, lagos es un complejo de lagos, es Montebello y todo eso. Ah, lakes. Yeah. Lakes. Ah, interesting. Yeah. It's, it's tired, the, the trial, because it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Ok, excelente. Ok, what about Oscar Rosales? How was your weekend, Oscar? Hello, teacher. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. How was your weekend, Oscar? Oscar, are you there? Yes, I am here. Fine, fine, very fine. Fine. What activities did you do on weekend? Well, I'm staying home. Ah, rest. from Monday, no, from from Friday, Saturday and Sunday, three days, on Friday, Monday to go out with my friends a little bit. Oh, okay. And what about Sunday? Um, rest too, same of Monday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what about let me see, Giselle? How are you, Giselle? Or Cecilia? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. How Thank was your weekend? Fine, fine, teacher. Muy bien. What activities did you do on weekend? I uh, quiero ver uh, Sunday, the Sunday. On Sunday. Uh, we went to the beach. Okay. Uh, with the family. With your family. What else? Yes. yes. What about yesterday, Monday? Uh, yesterday, uh, ¿cómo decir? Descansé todo el día. I took a rest. Ah, All okay. day. I took a rest. Sí, yesterday, sí. Ok, excelente. Okay. Rufino, how was your weekend, Rufino? Uh, my weekend, I, we, uh, we went with my family uh, to the church. To the church. Uh, And the afternoon, uh, I, I 
uh, I rest the rest uh, of the day in relax in my my wife in my with my children and my uh, and my mother-in-law mother-in-law uh, they they went to the to the to the park to the park afternoon. ah yeah. in the afternoon and then it's it's mm -hmm. nice excellent yes. thanks for your participation what about damaris merari how was your weekend damaris i'm fine what activity did you do on weekend <laughs> Sorry. Ah, maybe she has uh, some troubles with the audio, right? Now, what about Iris? How was your weekend, Iris? Hi, teacher. My Hi. weekend is very good. I am. I relax with my family and I sleep. Oh, sleep is very important. Yes. <laughs> okay, nice. What about Saul? How was your weekend, Saul? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was great because I was in home, but yesterday, well, first of all, uh, I live in Chalatenango, and yesterday um, I came to San Salvador. And right now, I'm a little tired because in the morning I went to the gym. For that reason, I am a little tired. But I'm happy for being here because we are going to learn a new topic, I guess. Very nice. Now, let's start with the class for today. First, it is important to share with you some video. Let me see. I put the video. Okay. Eh, me dicen por favor si ven el video porque en la clase anterior sí pude apreciar que cuando ya subí el, el video a YouTube vi que no funcionaba. O sea, no pudieron ver. Solamente escuchaban el video. Deme Ahorita un momentito. Solo vemos un, una diapositiva, teacher. Sí. Ahorita solo quiero ver. Es que no se los he puesto todavía, pero quiero ver ahorita. Y me dicen si, si pueden ver las imágenes también, escucharlo y verlo. ¿Ven la imagen? Let me see. No, no. The imagen. Ya va a salir. No. ¿Ahorita? ¿Ven la imagen? No. Yeah. No. no. Yes. Yes. Ven la imagen y yeah. the past progressive and simple past. Ok. Ah, no. No, esa no. La imagen del, del audio no. 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 Vale. Ok, déjenme ver. No. Ahí. For now, no. Ok. Y si lo escuchan, quiero, vaya. Me dicen si lo no. escuchan. No. 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 Ni escuchado no. ni ver. Bye. No. 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 Ok, let me see. No, ¿verdad? No, teacher. Bye. Let me see. And then. Mm 
Vayamos a ver ahora si funciona. ¿Lo escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes, ¿Lo ven? Yes, yes, it's listening. Yes. Vaya, listening yes, y, y, y ven a las dos chicas que están ahorita en pantalla. Yes, we can see. Yes, yes. yes. Ah, okay. yes I see. Ok. Entonces, eh, please pay attention and take notes about number of people. Ok. Pay attention to this one. What is the name of the participant in the conversation? Another. What kind of story this is? What are the names of the couples who live there? What kind of people were the McShane's? What is the story about? Please pay attention to this, to this question. Again, start. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable. Everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, okay then, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's okay. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers, and they're in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that. Thanks. 
Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okay. Did you like it? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was very yes. interesting. <laughs> okay, now let it, me see. It was a terrible movie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let me see. It was a scary movie, right? Do you like a scary movies? I don't like in my case, teacher. <laughs> Me, too. Like. Me too. Okay. Who Me likes? Too. <laughs> okay. Who likes a scary movies? No me gusta. Who likes? No. ¿A quiénes le gusta la, la película de miedo? Who likes a scary movies? To me, I little a little bit I like. Ah, okay. A scary movie. A scary movie. Okay, another. Can you tell me another name of scary movies? El despertar del diablo. Ah, yes. In Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't like the the kind this kind of movies. I don't like. Yes. <laughs> I prefer romantic romantic movies. <laughs> Me too. <please. laughs> like this okay. uh, No, I I I consider that that the kind this kind of of movies are uh, let me see are um, are bad, I think. <laughs> Because, yes, I dislike. Now, can you tell me what is the story about? I need more opinions. What is the story about? I understand, teacher. Yeah. The, the, the main tell, uh, she, her, he? no, his, his, his wife died in a fire. Yeah. In your in your farm in your farm, and then she he he lost he lost for for a long time and disappeared the the the, the place. Yeah. Only that. <laughs> <laughs> More opinions. Excellent. More opinions. What did you understand? about the the story what is the story about come on it was a little terror because uh, a girl was telling the the history and after that the pet uh, appeared in the play that they were Yes. And they, they gave some flowers blue, I think. Purple. Mm -hmm. What else? More opinions? More opinions. What, what is the story about? Aunque sea un pedacito, díganme. Okay. Please, Iris, Marisol, Iris, Marisol, Oscar, can you help me, please? 
Arsenio. Hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, Can you tell the, me something? Uh, yeah, the, the last part just um, the girl is scary because uh, a demand, I don't know what name he um, demand um, um, all the characters is uh, no se puede se coincidir mm -hmm. the, the, the story man okay thanks a lot now at the end eh, he, oh let me see one here let's go with with the number one what is the name of the participant in this conversation What is the name? Mo Molly or Melly? Molly. Okay, the names are <laughs> Helen. Helen is the person who who tells the story. Helen. Molly or Molly Molly. Or Molly. Molly. And the other I I can listen the the name of the other. The and man I, was calling Ted. Yes, Ted. the man is Ted. Ted what? I don't it's remember Ted. Teodore, Teodore. Marshen. Marshen. Yes, Marshen. Marshen. And what is the name of his wife? Teodore. Theodore. 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 But but Theodore is the same Ted. Ted uh, Theodore is the, the real name. But Ted is the is his nickname. Nickname. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ted is the nombre de pila. Okay. Yeah. El, el nombre correcto is Theodore. Pero ahí le, ahí le decían Ted. Okay. And his last name is McShane. Yes. Yeah. Now, what is the name of his wife? His wife is the person that, that died. Mm -hmm. Dolly. 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 Yes. Dolly McShane. Dolly McShane. Now, can you tell me what kind of story this is? A terror? A scary story. Scary story. Yes. Scary story. What are the names of the couple who lives there? Who live there? Dolly and Ted. Dolly and Ted. Machine. 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 Yes. Machine. Machine. Now, what kind of people were the machines? What kind of people? Dead uh, is a ranger. They are, they are what? A ranger. 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 A ranger. What else? No, but, but, but they are friendly. They are wonderful, they are wonderful people. Friendly, friendly, friendly and sociable. sociable. Yes, and sociable. What happened? People love them. People love them. Because they they was wonderful people, friendly and sociable. Yes. Now, can you tell me more about the, what is the story? What is the story about? What happened? What happened when 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 was a fire? Said his history. Said history. 
because uh, his wife died? Yes. The history. In the country. Okay. I listen that Ted in the morning should take a, a look down that that path there is a field full of wild flowers. Mm. Okay. Eh, Ted always had white flowers, flores silvestres. Yeah. In her in his hand. And always he gives or he gave the white flowers to his wife every yes. day every day every night okay. yes and i listened to that Ma mr mccain had inherited the land from a, rel a relative mixed chains were wonderful people yeah and sociable too now, one day, one day, as Theodore was coming home, ahí se escucha interferencia, no sé si pueden quitar el audio. Okay, thanks a lot. One day, as, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so, Fires were a real danger. He saw the, the fires in his house. And what happened then? What, what happened after? Yeah? What happened? It happened his wife was born. Yes? La esposa se quemó, ¿verdad? Cuando él se acercó a la casa, vio que la estaba en llamas y la esposa quedó adentro. And then what happened there? She died. She died. She, she died. died. And then eh, for, for months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and throw the town searching in his hand he always carried a bouquet of of wild flowers of wild flowers for his poor dead bride él la buscaba con las flores en la mano día y noche recorría ese campamento buscando a la esposa because he lost, he, he was crazy. Él se volvió loco, right? And then he didn't accept, his, he didn't accept the, the, the diet, yeah? Now, what happened to him? It was a mystery. People saw him less and less, and then Theodore Machange just disappeared. Just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live who live there say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lobster bride. Yeah. And then what happened at the end? ¿Qué sucedió al final? ¿Era él el, el misterioso que le dio las flores a las chicas? ¿O no? Es posible. Yes. 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 Why? Because Why? He, had, he had some flowers. Why flowers in his hand? And to cause the name. His, what was his name? Tell Machine. Yes. Tell Yes. And then, las asustó o no, porque vieron que era él. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then, they screamed. Ah! Yeah or no? Exactly. Okay. Now, did you like it, the, the story? Yeah. Yes. Yes. He was yeah. looking for the, his wife. Yes. Always. 
All day and night he was looking to his wife. Okay. If you if you want to see again, please in in in, in, in platform or see the platform. Ahí está en la plataforma para que lo escuchen de nuevo, right? Now, okay. after this this nice video, we can continue with an important grammar topic. That is past progressive or past continuous. That is the same. It's past progressive and simple past. And simple past. What is a past progressive or past continuous? Okay, use past progressive with simple past together, together, right? Past progressive with simple past. Please, 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 Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, now. Use past progressive with simple past. Use both past progressive with simple past to describe an action that was interrupted by another action. Here we have the first example. They were enjoying the morning when the thief stole the briefcase. Now, which is here the past progressive? Were enjoying or stole? Were enjoying. Were, were enjoying. enjoying. Yes. Were because, enjoying. Yes, because it's an action. It's an action. They were enjoying the morning. Can you tell me what is the meaning of they were enjoying the morning? Estaban disfrutando. Estaban disfrutando la mañana. La mañana. Estaban disfrutando la mañana. Yes, now, this is the simple past because this is the first action. They were enjoying the morning. It's the first action. Now, that another action that was interrupted by another action is this. When a thief stole the briefcase. This is the second sentence. Yes, or the second the second sentence. They were enjoying the morning when the thief stole the briefcase. Brief. What is the meaning of briefcase? Maletín. Maletín. And then they were enjoying the morning. Ellos estaban disfrutando la mañana cuando Aquí está lo que le interrumpió. Miren, el Gwen hace la interrupción. Gwen, the thief stole the briefcase. Cuando el ladrón robó su maletín o robó el maletín. ¿Ya? Yeah? Here we have both action. First, past progressive o past continuous. And the second is simple past. Simple past. Ya. Yeah. Past, here we have. Past, were enjoying, stalled, now and future. Okay, do you have any questions for this part? No, teacher. Okay, they are enjoying here. Now, we continue. Here we have another exercise. There is no problem. Here, past continuous versus simple past. That is the same, the same topic. Use the past continuous for an ongoing action in the past. Use the simple past for an event that interrupts that action. Now, what is, what is the difference between past continuous and simple past? Is here, past continuous expresses the duration of a past action and does not indicate 
Whether is it finished? Express the duration of a past action. Both are in past. Here we have only in past. Use the past, use the past. Now, simple past refers to a specific action that began and ended in the past. Yeah, simple past refers to a specific action that began and ended in the past. Yeah? Please read and analyze this information. Okay. Is it clear that this information or do you have any question? I think it is clear, teacher. It is clear, right? Yeah. For the rest of the students? Okay. Nice. For the rest of the student? It's clear, teacher. It's clear, okay. Now, it's clear, yeah. Aquí está, miren, se refiere a una acción puntual, el simple past es una acción puntual que empezó y acabó en el pasado, terminó en el pasado, mientras que el, el continuo expresa la duración de una acción pasada y no indica si está terminada, no indica si finalizó. Right? Now, here, forming a past simple versus past continuous. Simple past. You can use with regular verbs or with irregular verbs. I send you today an, a list of verbs. Did you see? Oh, no. Yes, teacher. I yes. See. yes. Yes, okay. I see. Okay. En esa lista les aparece lo, el verbo, los verbos que vamos a ver con las otras clases también, que es el participio. Yes, ahí aparecen las, los tres tipos de verbos que tenemos. Eso les va a servir para el pasado perfecto también que vamos a ver después. Now, with simple past, you can use regular verbs or irregular verbs. And with past continuous, you can use all verbs. Was and were plus verb plus ing. Was and were plus verb plus ing. Ongoing action in the past interrupted by a sudden event. What is the meaning of ongoing? This, this one, what is the meaning of ongoing? En el camino. Y es camino. en desarrollo, en desarrollo o en, en curso. Desarrollo. En desarrollo o en curso. Y esa, uh, es una, una acción de momento, right? Ongoing action. Una acción de momento, pero en el pasado. Ongoing action in the past. Interrupted by a sudden event. Interrumpido por un, ¿qué? Repentino evento. ¿Ya? Yeah? Now. Here, we have these examples. Past continuous. While he was escaping from the bank, as Jake was running toward the ball, the secretary was making a speech. Now, here, we use Different verbs, escaping and running and making, right? And then when you use past continuous, it is important that the verb is with ing. Here we have why he was escaping from the bank. Escaping from the bank. Can you tell me what is the meaning of this, the first sentence? Mientras. Yes, continue. Mientras escapaba del banco. Mientras él escapaba del banco. Yes. What happened then? As Jake was running toward the ball. What is the meaning of was running? Jack 
Corría tras la bola, la bola, la pelota. Corría. Ya que estaba corría. Que estaba corriendo. Ya. Estaba corriendo. Más la pelota. Yes, is the ya action. La yes, because remember is the action. Acá. While he was escaping, mientras él estaba escapando. Because it's the moment. It's the action. While he was escaping from the bank, mientras él estaba escapando del banco, as Jake was running toward the ball, Jake estaba corriendo hacia la pelota. Was running. Estaba corriendo. Yeah. The secretary was making a speech. Was making... Y la secretaria estaba haciendo un discurso. Un discurso. Yes, the secretary was making a speech. You can use was and where plus ing. Like this. Plus ing. Here. Was and where, I, verb and ing. Now. Second, in simple past, in simple past is the action. No, in simple past is the, is the what? Simple past is the specific action that began and ended in the past. Began and ended in the past. Now, the robber got caught in the revolving door. He tripped and kicked and keep it into the wrong goal when a protester threw a nail at her. Now, do you have any questions for this vocabulary? And can you tell me what is the meaning of the first statement? The robber what? El ladrón tomó o cachó. Mm -hmm. Eh, no, quedó, quedó atrapado quedó, quedó, en el yeah. revolving door. Uh, no. yeah. En la puerta giratoria. Quedó, yes, quedó atrapado, atrapado en la puerta giratoria. Yes, got El ladrón out. quedó atrapado en la puerta giratoria. Yes. What is the verb here? Got and coach. The What cow, is the verb? Cow. Got. Let's go out. Caught, in this case, is a noun. Es un nombre. Yeah. The robber got, got caught, quedó atrapado. Quedó atrapado. Now, the second statement. He tripped and kicked and kicked it into the wrong goal. What is the meaning of tripped? Tropezar. Yeah. O tropezó, él tropezó. Tropezó en... Kicked. What is the meaning of kicked? Y patear. Y pat Pat y pateó. Pateó. Yes, ah, pateó. Pateó. Because the verb is in, is in past. He tripped mm -hmm. and kicked. Él tropezó y pateó. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because the verb is in past. And try to remember the rules about the, about the some verbs. Like this, trip, U, R, P, and E, D. Yes, tripped. Now, when a protester threw a nail at her, what is the meaning of true? Through. Lanzar, lanzar. Oh. Arrojar, arrojar. Arrojar, arrojar. Yes, because Tirar. it's in past. Yes, tiro. O arrojó un qué? Un huevo. Yes. To huevo. whom? A quién? A él. A ella. A ella. A ella. A ella. When a protester throws a egg at her. Her. Yes. Now, do you have any questions for this part? No, no for the moment. Now. Here I have another information to you. Uses. Uses. For some 
simultaneous action if the actions are consecutive the verbs will be in the simple past the verbs will be in the simple past if the actions are consecutive now number two when there is a simple past and a continuous are the later highlights the duration of the action here we have ah uh, here in number one here we have the first example as i saw him i left the room this is a consecutive as i saw him he left the room mm -hmm. yeah here we have two action but the, mm -hmm. this action is, uh, is consecutive yes mm -hmm. uh, both actions are consecutive as i saw him i left the room number two when there is a simple past and a continuous are the later highlights the durations of the action here as i was watching tv the telephone rang yeah here we have two two structure aquí estamos uniendo los dos a simple present con el continuous now as I was watching TV is the first action. The second action is the telephone rang or the past. Here is the past. Yeah. Here is the present continuous. As I was watching TV, watching, because it's in the moment, was watching TV. The second is el, 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 el pasado, miren. El pasado, que ahí terminó, dice, el teléfono sonó. ¿Ya? Esa es una acción que terminó. El teléfono sonó. Y la primera es una del, del continuo, miren. Dice que mientras yo estaba viendo televisión, ¿ya? The telephone rang. El teléfono sonaba. El teléfono sonó. Sonó. Range. Sonó. Here we have the, the simple past. Number three, if the two actions take place during the same period of time, the past continuous will be used in both. If the two actions take place during the same period of time, the past continuous will be used in both. Sample. As I was having lunch, he was watching TV. Yeah, take break during the same period of time. The past continuous will be used in both. As I was having lunch, he was watching TV. Here, we have was having, and here we have was watching. Yeah? Both are the same. We will continue use both. Now, to take about habitual actions, the simple past is usually used. As an example, she visited her parents every day. She visited her parents every day. Here we have an action, yeah, that he is, we use simple past, visited and, here, visited, she visited her parents every day. Now, in narrations or stories, the past continuous is used to describe or set the scene for an action. In narration of stories, the past continuous is used to describe or set the scene for an action. 
As an example, she was walking quickly. She was walking quickly. She was not wearing her glasses. Suddenly, he felt, and continues here. She was walking quickly. She was not wearing her glasses. Suddenly, she felt, and continues, because it's a narration of story. Now, I need two volunteers to read this information. Please, two volunteers. Only to read this information. Volunteers? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Griselda and? Ah, Sonia. Okay, Sonia, thanks. Sonia, start. Please read the first one with example. Yes. As I start. Yeah, Sonia, start. Okay. Oh. Teacher, on. Uh, yeah? As I start. Only, yes. only, only read the information. In number okay. one, yeah, and, and with, with example. And after continue with Zelda, yeah? Okay. Example. Yes. As I saw him, I left the room. Ah, no. No, when read. The, free, uh, no. Please, please read yes. for some Islamic legation to read. Oh, the, the okay, okay. Yeah. Use four simultaneous actions. If the actions are consecutive, the verse will be in the simple past. Example? All it is? No, example two. Example, okay. Example. Yeah. As I saw him, I left the room. As I saw him, I left the room. Now, when, next. There, when there is a simple past and the continuous are the later highlights, the duration of the action. Example, as I was watching TV, the telephone rang. Yeah. Now, another volunteers. Thanks a lot. Aleli and who else? If turf. If okay. the two actions take place uh, during the same period of time, the past continuous will be used it both. Example, yes. as used it both. As Example, I was, yep. as I was I having lunch. He was watching TV. Excellent. Another? Another volunteer? Another volunteer? Thanks, Mary. Okay, um, to talk. Okay. To talk about habitual action, the simple path is usually used. Use, uh, yes, example. example. She visited her parents every day. Okay, thanks. Another, the last one. I'm teacher. Okay, tell me, Elizabeth. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. In, narr in narrations or stories, the past continuous is used to describe or set the sense, the sense, the scene, for, uh, uh, the scenes for an action example she was walking quickly she was not wearing her glasses suddenly she fell excellent now do you have any questions for this part teacher what's the meaning of suddenly suddenly is repentinamente o de repente Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Now, here we have this exercise. The instruction is complete these new stories using the verbs from the list. The list is here. Okay, here. Now, broke, drowned, found, heard, looking, sure. Stayed, waiting, went, and wondered. The topic is human trapped in the bathroom for 20 days. In number one, 
Okay, complete the new story using the verbs from the leaves, right? Here. Mm -hmm. Now, in number one. 69 years old. Okay, read and tell me what is the, the possible answers or what is the correct answer. Okay. Olga mother in Paris. How do you say 69 in English? 69. 69. 69. At 69 years old, grandmother in Paris went to the bathroom. And what verb can I use here? Shoes? These, these verbs. Size. Repeat, please. Stay. Stay. Yeah. De permanecer, right? Yeah. Stay. Let me see. Lo ven así o siempre lo, se lo pongo más grande? No, a ver. No, this is... Ok. Stay. Ok. Y number. And stayed there for 20 days. What happened as she was? What? A secret mm. is read the same. El secreto, miren, en estos ejercicios así, el secreto es leer lo que sigue para que usted sepa qué verbo puede escoger acá. Miren, the door, the lock. As Looking. Looking the doors. Looking yes. the door. Okay. Yes. Looking the door. Number two. Look in the door. Number three. Look in the door. The lock. The lock what? Broke. 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 Yes. Broke. The locked broad brook brook. Notice that the verbs are in past. Now, next one. She could not open the door. She showed it. Showed it. This one, huh? showed it. Showed it. Sure she sure what else for help but no one when well, no one what heard heard heard, heard. 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 the listen the no one heard No one heard. Next. Found. No one heard because her bathroom had no windows. After nearly three weeks, the women's neighbors Neighbor. what? Found. Found. No. no. Wonder 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 Yes Wonder 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 Neighbors Wonder where she was Fight Fight fighters broke into her apartment and Um, the waiting, uh... waiting, no, 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 there was another phone, 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 yes, found. In, yes, he's found. 
found found and eight let me see found found her in a very weak weakness state while she was drunk 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 no, no. no. while she waiting. was waiting waiting yes <laughs> she was waiting waiting to be rescued to be rescued she drank 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 she drank water yes she drank okay now i need a volunteer to read the complete story please Volunteer to read the complete story. Volunteer, only one. Only one volunteer. Rufino, thanks a lot. All right. Ah, let's get back in this. Rosemary. Okay, thanks Rosemary. Okay. Okay. Léalo con, lo, con, los, con las oraciones, con estas, con las palabras. Okay. Use from the list. Okay. Start, please. Um, um, woman As trained in bathroom for 20 days. Yeah. The 69 years old grandmother in Paris went to the bathroom and stayed. 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 There for uh, 20 days. What happened as she was looking there for 20 days? What happened? Me equivoqué, creo. Ah, there is no problem. Continue. As she was, as she was broke, broke no. it. The dirty look showed she could not open the door she here for help but no one no one no one heard 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 her this one excuse me miss eh quizá no me puede decir que estoy estoy de teléfono y se me number 5 Ah, there's no problem. Heard. It's heard. Mm -hmm. Heard. Heard because her bathroom, no windows. Yeah. After nearly three weeks, the woman next door wondered mm -hmm. where she was failing. Five writers. After nearly eight weeks, the woman neighbors, no sé si ya me perdí. <laughs> no problem. Broke into her apartment and? And phone. And phone. Phone, phone her. In a very quick in the state. Yeah. While he was waiting. To be rescued, she drank one wider. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Okay. Tomorrow we will continue with this topic with some exercise more. And I need a favor. Please read the information that I sent today about verbs because some verbs change but others don't and remember that verbs need to be learned by memory by memory right let me see if i because it's the time but i need to to show 
this information. Ok, ven, ven la lista de verbos. Yes. 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 yes, it yes. Is, ok, yes, it esta es. Ok, esta es la que les envié, miren. Lista de verbos irregulares. ¿Cuál es la ventaja con este listado? Aquí aparece. In infinitive, in simple past, en pasado participio. Eso se lo vamos a utilizar. Necesito que vean las diferencias. El, el infinitivo que es el presente. Presente, pasado y pasado participio. Vean la diferencia y mañana vamos a analizar este listado. Hay unos que cambian, otros que no. Los verbos irregulares son los que cambian su estructura, su escritura, con algunas excepciones. Los regulares son a los que les agregamos ED cuando hablamos del pasado. Aquí está, mire, esta es lo bonito de este listado. Aquí está la forma básica. El pasado simple, aquí va cuando termina, terminan en ID, cuando terminan en T y cuando ter, so le agregamos solamente el D. Esto lo vamos a ver el día de mañana, pero necesito que lo revisen, este listado, please. Ok. okay. Mañana vamos a ver esta parte, right? Right. Okay. Thanks, Thanks for coming right. and for your responsibility. Have you a wonderful Have a nice night. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you Take tomorrow. care. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.